Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, is directed by George Miller, and it's a prequel to Mad Max Fury Road, which is a movie that came out back in 2015 that I've never done a formal review for on my channel. So just a real quick positive for that movie. I completely understand why people love it for its action set pieces. It's gorgeous to look at. It's chaotic, but brilliantly shot the entire time. But on my negative side for that movie, there was not enough storyline for me to really care about any of the characters in that film. Sure, you may want Mad Max and Furiosa to win because they're the good guys. They're doing the good thing in the movie. And you don't want Morton Joe and all of his horrible band of deformed sons to win. But that's really your only motivation in that film. Again, the substance was lacking in the story for that movie. So going into Furiosa, that's what I really wanted. Sure, I want the big action set pieces. It's George Miller. I know he already gave us that in Fury Road. I know he can give it to us in Furiosa, but I wanted more story. I wanted more substance. And I'm very happy to say that they gave me that in this movie. Now, we'll get to more of that in my positives. Let's talk about the story itself. This time around, Furiosa is played by Anya Taylor-Joy, and you see Furiosa when she's a young girl, when she is taken from her family by Dr. Dementis, played by Chris Hemsworth, who does a fantastic job. More about him again in my positives. But he takes her from her home. He ends up trading her to a Morton Joe, where she grows up to be one of his brides. But as you know, if you've seen Mad Max Fury Road, she's not going to become one of his brides. She's going to become his general. So you get to see her story about how she made it through the ranks of Immortan Joe's people. And it's a really cool story. There's a lot of story storyline there maybe a little too much at times but again I was the one asking for more story so I can't be too upset about that I had a really fun time with it if it sounds like a fun movie to you you should check this movie out if you love the action set pieces from Mad Max Fury Road I think you'll enjoy the ones out of Furiosa just as much and if you wanted a little more story a little more substance if you're like me where you wanted to be a little more invested in the characters look no further than Anya Taylor-Joy and Chris Hemsworth performance because both of them brilliantly bring it to the screen with that said let's get into some of my positives and some of my negatives now on the positive side of things I just talked about their performances so I'll just continue on with that Anya Taylor-Joy does a fantastic job as Furiosa. In my opinion, she outshines Charlize Theron completely. Again, I felt like Charlize was very flat in that movie, and maybe that's how she was directed because I've seen her act in other movies. She can act very well, but Anya Taylor-Joy just does a fantastic job bringing the emotion out of that character. And maybe it's from seeing a younger, less battle-bruised version of Furiosa, that's very possible. Like Anya Taylor Joy was able to play with that a little bit more, but again, she does a great job. And on the other side of things, you have Chris Hemsworth coming as Dr. Dementis, and he is a chaotic but wonderfully written character. He's got several monologues in this movie that are just so much fun. You f I found myself laughing at times when he was being just absolutely diabolical, but he was a fantastic character because he had levels and layers to him instead of just being, oh, well, I'm just this bad guy. I'm just going to try to take over this rig. No, he had plans throughout this movie. He had this idea that he wanted to take Immortan Joe's spot because he legitimately believes in this movie he can take over Immortan Joe's place and so he ends up weaseling his way into running Gas City and then he wants to run Bullet Town and eventually he wants to take over Immortan Joe's spot and so he's got a plan while it is chaotic but it's a plan to take over and the one thing standing in his way is Furiosa and it's just beautifully done. I thought their characters, the way that they make their way through this movie on a collision course towards each other till the very end is just done wonderfully. My next positive for this movie has to be those action scenes and again it's one of those things where you knew they were going to bring the action since you saw that in Fury Road. It's the same director, you've got basically the same players, the same equipment, but what they do in this movie, especially a scene in Bullet Town, is fantastic. It was so much fun to watch. I tell you guys, if you loved the action in Fury Road, you are going to love watching the action in Furiosa. And that'll lead me to my final positive, again, something I sort of touched on earlier, and that is that the storyline, it is compelling, and it directly leads into Mad Max Fury Road. They did a fantastic job setting up a prequel and having a prequel do what it needs to do, where it completely latches in to that next movie, to the point where when I finished watching Furiosa, I wanted to watch Mad Max Fury Road again. I just wanted to see that continuation. I understood it more. It gave the context around that situation. It gave 
gave the explanation around Mad Max Fury Road for why all those stakes were there. I didn't have those answers in Mad Max Fury Road, so this movie gave those to me, and a great prequel can set those up. I thought the story was so well done. I felt for the characters in this movie. I felt for Furiosa. I understood Dr. Dementis's plot. I understood Immortan Joe wanting to hold on to his territory, even though he's a despicable individual, but it's just this chaotic mess that they were able to tell a story so brilliantly through that I loved it. This is one of my favorite movies I've seen so far this year, and it comes down to that story just finally giving me what I wanted from the first movie. That'll lead me to my negatives, and I don't have too many. In fact, they all kind of bundle into the same thing, so I'm just going to start with the movie is two and a half hours long, and I feel like that's a little too long for this movie. I enjoyed the story they told. I just got done praising it, but I will say that if you cut out about 30 minutes, it would have been more enjoyable because that 30 minutes extra that you could have cut out of is some of the things she did growing up. You just didn't need those things. They, they wanted them in the story. I get it. George Miller's telling this big epic story, but I feel like you could have trimmed the runtime down for this movie. And then adding into that runtime issue is there's some repetitiveness that you didn't really need. Yes, Chris Hemsworth is this great agent of chaos within this horrible wasteland and he's just making things difficult for people. But sometimes his character just continuously does the same thing until he tries to make it work. And maybe that's what his character does. But again, as a movie that I'm viewing for two and a half hours, the repetitiveness does sort of catch up to you. And so there are some things in this movie that I would have cut out personally but I'm not George Miller. I'm not the director. That was the story he wanted to tell. And those are really my only negatives. It's just a little bit of repetitiveness goes on a little bit too long. Overall, I'll say what I said earlier, and that is that this movie is one of my favorites in 2024. I did not expect that going into this movie. I had a great time watching it. I can't wait to buy it on 4K and add it to my shelves back there. I think that if you enjoyed Fury Road for the style, then you will enjoy this movie. If you were missing that substance from the first movie, that storyline from the first movie to really grip you, watch this movie and I believe you will be impressed. But those are just my opinions because that's my review for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Guys, have you had a chance to see this yet? If you have, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know where we agree or disagree. Maybe there's some things I saw that you didn't. Maybe you're like, you know what? This wasn't really my cup of tea. I preferred Mad Max Fury Road and that's totally fine. Fine. All movies are subjective to the viewer that's watching them. So I'd appreciate hearing your thoughts in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button because it helps the video, it helps the channel, and it helps me right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. All right, guys, we got to the end of my Furiosa, a Mad Max saga review, and I had a fun time doing this review. I had an even better time watching the movie. It was just that good. Won't shock me if this thing's in my top 10 of the year. It really won't. With that said, if you like this video and you want to check out other content that's on my channel, well, I've got all of my 2023 movie reviews right there, and I've got all of my 2024 movie reviews right there.